I manage the day-to-day -day operations of running a busy cafe and that's kind of my role, I guess. I don't think anyone would say that as a child that they want to do that, but so probably not, but that's just growing up is that you might find that you do something that you didn't aspire to do, but then you might not have known what you wanted to do anyway, which is quite often um, a bit of a journey to get there. I enjoy what I do, but although I didn't really study for it or anything, it's just something that happened in my life, but I'm quite happy about it. Um, I moved to live in Holland, in Amsterdam. Uh, I worked in a coffee roastery there, so sort of expand and broaden my skills and do something interesting with my life, and um, it sort of led me the journey to come back here again. So with a bit more experience. The word perspective means being far away. So when you've got more perspective, you kind of, you can see things a lot clearer and um, you can judge your motivations for things, I think, uh, a lot clearer as well. So yeah, it's good to be back, but I'm glad I went away as well. Main difference, I think, working in specialty coffee, as you sort of call this style of cafe, is that, that some people strive to have unique and interesting things to eat and drink every day. So we provide, I think, a service where you are more involved in the product so we have a lot of knowledge about where the coffee comes from, how it's processed, how it's prepared and we can also style it and uh, deliver the coffee how we think it's the best way and not be told from a head office in America or Europe or London we do it in the way that we think is right. And knowledge about the product really, like I think if you go to Starbucks or Nero there's just a coffee that comes out and, and it might be, you don't know where it's country it's from or what kind of quality it is. The, the preparation skill of the people that make it is quite low because they rely on the machinery and it's a volume based business where ours isn't really volume, it's, we spend a lot longer um, drinking and tasting the coffees to make sure they're right and I would never send out coffee that I wouldn't drink myself whereas um, I think people care less about the, t the flavour um, of the coffee so much in a chain store. They, there's quite often a lot of add-ons, like, oh, add cream, add hazelnut syrup, add, add a salt caramel popcorn topping or whatever, you know, sort of novelty things that don't exist in speciality coffee because we are proud of the fact that our coffee tastes good on its own and if you don't like the taste of coffee it's probably not the place to come. We spend a lot of time to make sure we give people what they want but then some people are, are only really happy when they're unhappy about things so I don't enjoy those sort of people but however most people aren't like that anyway so it's alright, it's fine, it's life's rich tapestry.